Brüm-Brüm. We're continuing after beating Dong back into submission and possibly doing nothing to Dong rank because why would we with 449? Nothing. There's really nothing left. An intense golden glow blinked from the golden bow that was stepped into Dong back. Soon enough, the space in the K Corp building around us begins to twist and move. What could be happening? But definitely nothing good because remember we're, we're playing a Project Moon game. I pressed enter, but it's not proceeding. Is that? Here we go. <laughs> Sorry, that was weird. Reconstructing K Corp Laboratory. As the intense golden glow fades, the space begins to twist and morph. I mean, what do you think was happening before? Do you think that the, the the mounts of corpses were real? And did you... Well, I guess in the first chapter it could be said that we all had like a hallucination when we were somewhat teleported back to the smoke war with Gregor's memories. What happened in the second chapter? It was huge underground icy hall and we were chased by a castle. I guess everything can be explained with hallucination and drugs. So basically, don't ask questions. Oh, we don't know about it either. Or well, we don't want to tell you, rather, I think. But wait, are my sound levels okay? Sorry, this is very unprofessional, but uh, let's bump it up a little bit more. Wait, wait, wait. The, the voices are most important, actually. Okay, they are all the way up there. Unable to properly articulate her words any further, Ishmael pointed a finger instead. Oh, so she gets how Heathcliff feels at times. Bodies that have been devoid of life for a while begin to rise. Their organs or body parts were severely damaged. This could only be described as a resurrection. <laughs> So the definition for that is definitely different in the city because we've gone over this before. Actually, I criticized it before. Bring back dead people is a concept that seems possible in the city, but only under specific circumstances, I guess. So someone like Jehun couldn't bring back his son. A couldn't bring back Carmen, but in other cases it, it was possible. Um, Pamela and Pamela, one of which was able to come back due to body reconstruction into a twin of like Pamela or Pamela, um, depending on which one was which. So it, it is it is weird. Apparently it is. Well, I guess there is like a point of where you are completely dead. When you've been on the ground for a while or something, maybe. In a small scale, I guess due to being able to rewind time, we were also able to negate death. Lobotomy Corporation. Is that the first time the head is even mentioned in the game? Is it? That's actually a good question, I think. Yes. Oh, that's right. 
단태와 동기환 덕에 부활 체험을 하고 있는 저희와는 양상이 전혀 다릅니다. Have they asked the head for permission before using the Limbus Company technology? Actually, I mean the head is also like a patent office. So did they have to go and explain their singularity-like powers to them, asking whether or not they were allowed to go around and do stuff like this? 다르고 틀리다. 저들은 우리와 다르게 온전한 형태의 재생이 아니다. 그저 그저 살아있기만한 상태에 지나지 않다. 의식도 이성도 없어 보이는군. So they're like puppets. 그 말은. 반대로 자아와 육체를 모두 되살려야 머리에 금기를 어기는 것일지도 모르겠구만. Okay, um, coming back from nothing, that was interesting. Two things I noticed. Are these icons new? I remember there being swords and books, but I don't think there have been like swords and books together before, which I guess means like a story segment and then a fight, or rather a fight and then a story segment. Uh, however, I could be wrong about that. Maybe I just didn't pay enough attention before because there's like swords, which are just straight up fights. Swords, 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 swords. Where, where are the, just the books? Here we go. There's just the book over here, right? Um, is this new? Also, another thing that I could be going entirely crazy, but it's been like two weeks since I last played, so there were a good dozen patches <laughs> since they seem to patch like every other day due to one thing not working um, or something. The colors are different. The synaffinities. They're way more vibrant now. It's so much easier to teleport to do the two different types of blue attacks. It's so much better. To the point of where I wonder why they didn't ship it with that. Because it it looks so great. Like the green is stronger as well. And it, it yeah, one might say that it looks m somewhat more generic now art style wise but I, f I feel like w when it comes to ui you need to make it as distinct and as possible uh, muddy colors and similar colors I, I don't really want that i want to be able to tell at a glance what i'm doing because i i for one certainly don't want to what's going on over here i don't want to read uh, nothing too by the way uh, an intense golden glow blinked once more and it is exactly the same text as before so we're gonna enter and we're gonna beat some dead people up again and kill them once again. And 451 binding. I guess we'll we'll get all of the stages up until dungeon in today's episode. Uh, Technology Liberation Alliance members, we were sure with that start attacking us. We keep moving forward in the rearranging space, looking for the golden bow that's still near us. When I took a closer look at the revived foes after the battle, I could see a liquid of a familiar hue flowing from their eyes. It's come. Yeah, that's... Doesn't sound that great, does it? Dante, the Gazi is still in the Hwangum Gazi. The Hwangum Gazi was in the Hwangum Gazi. 
I can't find a corpse anywhere. I must have been moved away when the space twisted. But it can't be too far away. I'm sure of it. I, I can feel it. Who cares about this guy? Apparently I'm the old one out, by the way. <laughs> uh, yes, yesterday? No, two days ago. I released the episode where we fought against, basically the last episode, um, we fought against Dong Back and people were really, um, I guess, people argued that the sinners don't really care what Dong Rang does because they have no agenda to stop him or anything because for one, he's paying us. Secondly, there's no gain for us. And thirdly, we are psychopaths as well. <laughs> and I can agree with all three points. Yet at the same time, even if I was a psychopath, even if I wanted to get paid, and even if I didn't get anything out of it, if there was someone deranged next to me, and I was able to overpower him with sheer numbers, especially considering that he's a science and scientist type, and I'm a fighter, I think I would want to at least, when shit is going on around me that I don't understand, I would want him to answer, at least, okay? ちみらん。いらこへあるかよ。不純と絵地と反応しょりゃ。ちみ。결속을 Binding two straight up just fight stage, so I will go forth and just skip ahead. Oh, look where we're going. It's happening. Finally. Uh, binding 3. 35 still. It's 453. And it's another straight up fight. So today's episode will be very disconnected and disjointed, I think. Very short as well. Hmm. Man, the K-Cop staff can be pretty scary. Why am I even talking still? Who knows? Next time we're gonna do 
the the dungeon, the Reminisced League of Nine. Uh, four modules to enter, which is fine. 200 uh, lunacy reward to, to clear. 40 of the event currency, I believe. The bus modifying scrap. And the last stage of this. Supposedly six hours long. That's what I've been told on stream. So I'm in for a wild ride. Now, however, since today's episode is somewhat short, and we don't have much else to do in this I don't know. doing this I guess we're gonna we're gonna roll we're gonna extract uh, what is currently running I missed a few banners in between since I didn't roll uh, so there's the magic hell bus extraction which gives you uh, a Tef Hong Lu ego and f <laughs> oh oh I recognize <laughs> I recognize this wetsuit <laughs> a Mola boatworks fixer Mola uh, for Ishmael, a f free tier identity, or we have the Don Quixote identity, yet another tier 3 identity. This Sync Self Section 5 Director Don Quixote, what a mouthful. Hmm? I want to give Don a mouthful. Oh, she looks lovely though. I think we're gonna roll for each banner once or something. Salut. Uh, at 10 plus speed coin power plus 3. Oh, yeah, they changed some stuff around. Uh, they, they changed a lot around in the past few patches. Don't expect me to understand everything. Uh, deal more damage based on clash count. Plus 10% per clash count. Max 100%. Clash... What? Clash count? Like... Cl clash count what? Exactly. Uh, who? Who's clash count? How many she did in this fight already? How many clashes she had? Or how many she's having at this very moment? Like if she's clashing against five enemies in this round, that's like 50%? She inflicts declared duel in a clash between the unit that inflicted declared duel and the unit with the status the declarer has plus one clash power, gains one haste next turn after a successful attack four times per turn, expires if the declarer inflicts the status on another target, replaced when another unit declares a duel. Flash. Uh, I don't know if it's a pro uh, uh, so pronounced like that. That's the word. Ironically, I couldn't remember. Um, gain haste and again more damage based on clash count. Inflict bind. Inflict bind and plus at plus seven speed coin power plus two. It would be a four plus five plus five. Uh, oh, oh yeah, it's it's maximum up to. Oh yeah, there's another uptight here. <laughs> no, there's like uptight four. Again, I've been told it's not as good. As you might think, this might not really... Oh my god, that is so good, though. Um, it might not really be worth it to go for Uptay 4. It is... What am I... What am I cycling through here? Pressing on an arrow, but... Nothing. Uh, so it's it's not that good. Shall we take a look at, at Ishmael as well? Considering we also looked at Dawn, it's only fair. A 4 plus 3 with 2 coins, Tremor and Sinking. Tremor is always nice. Um, might go well with like Rodian's Rose Banner identity, you know. At plus 5 Tremor count, coin power plus 1, a 5 plus 5 with 2 coins, so it's a 15, it's pretty good. Inflict 3 Tremor count, inf gain, gain 2 Tremor count. Inflict a lot of Sinking on it. And a 3 plus 5. Three coins. Coin power plus one for every five tremor count on self. Maximum two. So we have like a coin power plus two, which would mean it's three times seven, 21, plus the base three, 24. Inflict sinking, inflict sinking, spent tremor count. Inflict fragile. Spent own tremor count, I assume. Inflict sinking, spent tremor count, inflict fragile. And evade. To be honest, evade is, I know, people might be of a different opinion here, and I haven't used other evade type, uh, other defense types yet that much. I also don't really use evade other than some stuff I tried out during the railroad. Uh, but evade seems to be like the most valuable, considering that it just gets infinitely recycled if you don't get hit. On use, gain 2 Rupture Protection 6 times per turn. 
Take minus one damage per count from Rapture effects for one turn. Interesting, very interesting. Um, I didn't take a look at Don's passives, but who cares? On hit against a target with Tremor, inflict plus one sinking, and her support is when an ally with the lowest max HP hits with heads coins. Inflict sinking when inflicting Tremor count on a target with coin effects. Okay, I decided we're not gonna roll on this because I'm gonna roll on this on the stream for the event which I'm gonna do. And I don't know when this episode is gonna release, whether I'll release it this Friday, or rather Friday that's coming up, or earlier. If it releases earlier, <laughs> then this Wednesday, the se second? I don't know. I, what's what's the current date? I don't even know. Um, I will do a stream of the event, the Magic Hell Bus. I'm very much looking forward to it, but that's the reason why I have to rush through the dungeon now. Or well, at least clear, I don't think I will rush through it. Um, but for now, I'm gonna roll on this one. I have 8400 lunacy. The director had to kneel quite a few times in the past two to three weeks. <laughs> and we even have a 10 extraction tickets, so we can extract 10 times with these alone. Let's do that. Let's roll for Dawn. Didn't get lucky. We got some shots though. That's quite alright. You don't always need to win in, in life. 